The purpose of this video series is to give you an understanding of data modeling within Tatango. It is designed in such a way that each part builds on the next so that you are not thrown into context and terminology that has not yet been defined. As a beginner, you are encouraged to follow this video step by step. My name is Val Lapidus. I'm a senior solutions architect and have been with Tatango for six years. I have implemented our largest customers and our smallest. I hope this video series will help you better understand what data to bring into Tatango and how to organize it. Specific methods of bringing data into Tatango will be covered in subsequent videos and guides. But before getting there, we need to understand Tatango's data framework to avoid bringing in anything unnecessary. In this series, you will learn how to define accounts and account types, how to define users and user types, like users, contact, and key contacts, collections, which are like tables of information that display on the account profile, to Tango required account information, like account ID, account name, account type, and account status. What is account hierarchy in Tango, and do you need it? And the required Tango account information if you have hierarchy or subaccounts. How to define end user data, such as user activities or consumption data. What are Tango attributes and what comes out of the box and what are custom attributes. 